the two partners in handshake, President Uhuru Kenyatta and the ODM leader, Raila Amolo Odinga, have decided, after resolving in their own knowledge, to appeal the petition by the five bench ruling who declared the Building Bridges Initiative as null, void, and unconstitutional. After this ruling, President Uhuru Kenyatta was left in a more awkward manner more than Raila Amolo Odinga. And therefore, this leader has vowed to fight through the court to the end to see if they can salvage the Building Bridges Initiative Bill, then bring it back to an inch. And now, from Raila Amolo Odinga's side, he has prepared a defense team to lead in this appeal through the senior counsel, Paul Mwangi, and Professor Ben Sihanyo. This is the team that is going to lead the battle of lawyers from Raila Amolo Odinga's side in that appeal. Then President Uhuru Kenyatta also has prepared his side, led by the Solicitor General Kennedy Ogeti and the AG Antony General Paul Keharu Karuki to lead from his side. So this is a lean team that is going to lead through that petition. These leaders also are very brave. They are preparing the ground ahead of their appeal so that it can be seen as if the entire country is with them in this move. But before I explain to you how this is happening, you might be watching me for the first time and you have not yet subscribed. Consider using this time to subscribe, to subscribe so that any other time, once I come out with a video like this one, you will always get notified. And to everyone who have subscribed, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support to this platform. Actually, the more you subscribe here, the more you help us to reach more people outside there. We also have a membership on this platform and anyone can join with any amount as from as little as one dollar. You become a member of this channel. Now let us get back to our discussion. Now, Uhuru and Raila, in their own wisdom, have crafted a narrative that is currently playing outside here in a number of ways. And this narrative is set to make sure that it is winning the heart of Kenyans so that when they are going to appeal this ruling, it might be seen that many Kenyans are with them. Yesterday, like if I use an example, of the members of county assemblies. We saw them drawn from the 47 counties. There was a group that addressed the nation and they were explaining very clearly that for them they choose to pass the Building Bridges Initiative at the county assembly level because of a number of things. Number one, according to them, was to solve the violence that normally come after before and after the general election. According to them, Building Bridges Initiative had come with a formula that was going to solve the issue of winner takes it all. And for that reason, they knew that they are going to solve this problem. Therefore, from 2022 and any other election that will come after this, there will be no any violence after that. According to them also, through the Building Bridges Initiative, there was going to be a cure of development in each and every corner of the country through the World Fund. The MCS are saying that the World Fund was set to help and develop each and every village in Kenya. Because for them, an MCA is the lowest person on the ground leading or yeah, a leader of each and every village. So if they are going to get money, this money was set to solve small problems and develop each village down there. According to them, the ruling by this five judge bench is seen as entire development of the Wanjiku. <laughs> so that is the pace they are trying to set there. So that anyone will see this ruling and it is going to set a, presiden a presidency whereby if the other judges are going to make the ruling, should consider these things these leaders are saying here. Such that in case they rule against 
the wishes of the BBI partners, then also they will be seen as the anti-development. That is the narrative that is playing outside there. Another team is the team of the cabinet secretaries. For them, they have come clearly to defend President Uhuru Kenyatta, the way the ruling happened, and the, the ODM leader, Raila Amolo Dinga. According to them also, it was clear that BBI was going to solve a number of issues, including the development of the country as a large shared prosperities across the entire country. So politics is still playing here through this CSS. When they get outside there to address Wanainchi, they will still win the perception from Wanainchi there and they will and this will come out to paint these judges as entire development. So that is the game that is playing outside there. If it's going to be sustained or succeed is another thing we can wait to see. Another group is the group of the political party leaders. We have seen them through the statement that they have come to read outside there. Kalonzo Musyoka has made a statement defending President Uhuru Kenyatta and also painting a picture of defending the ruling by the courts. But in real sense, he is coming clear here to stand in solidarity with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Musalia Mudavad, also the ANC party leader, came out with a statement. Senator Masika Wetangula also and Gideon Moy are in this statement. So it shows that the political party leaders also are with these leaders. And for that reason, it is going to win some kind of perception from Kenyan that this thing is a really Wanjiku referendum, but not for President Uhuru Kenyatta and the ODM leader Raila Amolo Odinga. All these things are just being done so that the consideration can be there during the next ruling after this appeal. So those are the kind of politics. We are seeing the settlements are coming out and still people are buying into that. <laughs> Another group here, dispatched outside there, is the youth, is the youth united for Kenyans and other groups. So these are also the youth that are coming out strongly there to defend the Building Bridges Initiative Bill. They are saying that the Building Bridges Initiative Bill was coming outside here to solve the problem that youth were facing through. The issue of business incubation and the center taxes and holiday taxes also. These are the things that youth are talking about here, that the referendum was coming to solve these issues. For that reason, open an opportunities for the youth outside there, at least do business and have an environment that will help them to do business with a minimum interest and at least have a long period of payment. So according to them, these judges, when they rule against the Building Bridges Initiative, they are seen as anti-development the judges who don't want youth to prosper in the entire country. So that is a perception that is being crafted outside there. Still is playing. We will see if it's going to affect the ruling. Another issue is the issue to do the, with the gender parity rule. The CJ, former CJ, David Maraga, advised President Uhuru Kenyatta to dissolve the parliament after the parliament failed to reach the gender parity rule. The number of women and men in the National Assembly and at the Senate is not meeting the 2010 constitution. For that reason, these women are coming out in a strong statement saying that Building Bridges Initiative was coming outside there to solve such problems. And therefore, anyone trying to stop this is the entire women. Because actually women are the ones who is underrepresented. So for them, they want to build a narrative that will see this ruling as the entire women in the country. 
if this thing is going to affect the next ruling or not is a time to tell. But it's a perception that is being created outside here, a perception that is being played outside here. And many people might be buying into this. All these things are made to prepare the ground so that President Uhuru Kenyatta will be seen as the person who was fighting for Wanjiku, as a person who was fighting for Otieno. It is going to paint Raila Amon Odinga as a person who was bringing out this bill to fight for Rini Wanainchi to bring the development in the country. And these are the kind of politics playing here. So it's an, a mix of issues. The ruling is going to be there again. And again, in the filing of this case, the AG has filed it as an extreme emergency case so that it can be given more time and handled with time. If this case will succeed or not, time will tell. But you can tell me in the comment section, what do you think about those moves? I know more will come. You will see even maybe sometimes demonstrations might come outside there before this ruling so that it will ignite citizens against the judges or the ruling that will be playing outside there. We might see so many things playing out ahead of the appeal and ruling. So you can tell me in the comment section what do you see or any other point that you feel I missed, I missed to put in this analysis. Thank you so much for going this far with me. This is the end of our video. But if you are still watching me and you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? If you can reach this far, just consider to subscribe so that you help us to build this platform. For those who are in a position to share us out, please don't hesitate. Share us out to other platforms so that we can reach more people outside there. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.